So here we are, the final day of our beginner slash intermediate tennis camp. This was part two. We had one a little earlier, so this is the final day. So uh, all these kids, there was 18 in total, did an incredible job. We're really proud of them. School starts for them uh, here next week and the week after. A lot of these kids play high school tennis for us. We help coach the Bryant High School tennis team along with Ms. Ramirez. Uh, so we're hoping for a really, really, really good season. So we're going to take some clips today and kind of summarize the week. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. She's a great motivator for sure. She doesn't give him any breaks. She does a great job. Let's go, Carla. There's no excuses for the balls not being picked up because we not only have one hard true mower, we have two. Uh, so here we are starting with the warm up with obstacle courses, target practice. So every ball that they hit, they hit a ball. They go run through these obstacles. And I'll walk you around. There's cones over there. There's cones back here. So they hit forehand, they move right and go around. Backhand, they go left and come around. Good exercise. So this is just the warm up. So we're, we're just getting warmed up. So we just went through kind of like our stretching slash uh, fitness segment. So here we are just, I know there's a lot of people on one court. We definitely split up here shortly, but just a good way for these kids to get going, get loose, get their minds right. Uh, and we'll go from here. How you doing, Justin? Give me a high five, fist pump. Justin, don't leave me hanging. There you go, buddy. There you go, Miller. All right, good job. So these little guys here, and I don't say little guys, I mean big boys, they're big boys. Uh, Miller and Justin, uh, the curly-headed one with the long hair, is six, Miller seven, and they can play. They, they win some points against these guys and gals. Let's see how they do on this feed. Here he comes, one-handed backhand, that was kind of fly, kind of a fly swatter. Miller with the backhand, so not bad, and we'll see what they do when they come around on the forehand side. come through the obstacles there they go all right here comes Justin let's see if he hits the forehand here not bad good shot now for Riley and let's see how uh, Miller does the forehand good shot buddy way to go so we had a bunch of targets set up we had one two cones up there and many more of these type of sections so the deal is is they cannot stop hitting and moving and going through the ladders uh, until they knock all the targets out. So they have these two left. So until they knock them out, they keep working. Nice shot! So next, uh, by the way, they only have one target left. So next, we'll pick up the balls and we're gonna be doing footwork drills through these cones. So split step, 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 all the way across. And then we have the long slalom uh, of cones here. So we're gonna be working footwork. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Happy feet, happy feet. Oh, I just heard they finished their targets. Yep. Good job, guys. So we will start on footwork. We got little JPD2 picking up balls. Six-year-old, that's our, that's our youngest son of five. So if you don't know, we're, we're a business. And we are blessed to be here at Mary Lake Racquet Club. Uh, and Justin Jr., JPD2, that's our youngest of five kids. He's doing really well. We got the youngest ones picking up balls. The crazy thing is, is we didn't ask them. They're just doing Heck yeah. So the really cool thing about Justin Jr. and Miller there, and all these kids, but they're, they're young. So they're here with the, the teenagers and the high schoolers, but they truly love the game. Like they always want to hit. They always want to play. Like it's continuous. Like Miller was supposed to, him and his mom go out of town, um, but they kind of delayed it so he could get the last day of camp in. But that's how these two are. Miller and Justin Jr. I've seen a lot of players in my time. 22 years of coaching, 43 years of playing, be 45 in November, started at two. I don't think I've ever seen a six and seven year old that have that much desire to play. Good job, guys. So this one in the yellow is Gabriella. She's our fourth youngest. So she's our next in line um, after Justin Jr. Gab, you gotta rotate on that violet. You, went, you ran straight at it. Make sure we rotate. Okay, meet the ball out front. Thank you. 
Okay, come get it, Ella. You got it. Go. That's good. Go. That's okay. Watch, watch flopping that racket, though. Good. Good. And so forth. And let's go. What? Don't swing at it. Okay. Don't, don't poke at it. Go. Justin Jr. Okay. Not bad, little man. Let's go, Miller. Be ready. Go after it. Not bad. Go. Okay. So we'll have to polish up their net game. But hey, they're almost just as tall as the net, and they're still out there going for it. There you go, Ethan. It's all right. Let's go, Blakely. Good. Working the volleys. It's a short game. So many players these days, you know, they can hit a forehand and maybe serve, and that's about it. Uh, so us and here at 5K Tennis in Mirror Lake, it's, it's kind of our goal to, to change that, teach variety in all the shots and not just one. Uh, teach them tactics and thought process and humility and focus. We definitely don't go easy on these kids for sure. We, we, we treat them like our own, every one of them. And obviously there's three of them over there that are mine though. Liliana we haven't seen yet. She's back at the end of the line. Good job, Isabella. All right, Gabriella, rotate. Don't, make sure you rotate the shoulders a bit. Uh-oh, we got to work on that. And here comes Lily. She's our, our next one. She's in the middle. And we have two older boys, both who are at the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. Good job. Good. So just a quick look at our little pro shop, which is growing. And so we got some 5K tennis hats, visors, grips, silver grips, dampeners, replacement grips, strings, uh, the trusty stringing machine. And we bring our 5K tennis mascot, Sub-Zero, and he has a little kennel he stays in here. Our ball machine over there in the corner. And um, what you see is what you get. Notice the sign on the wall. Be kind, as everyone you meet is fighting a tough battle. Sound familiar? And the draw below it was our inaugural tournament here, in which Steven and Carmelita won that. Fun stuff. And outside these windows, you can see all the courts. And there's the crew. Sorry, the windows, window's a little foggy. It's really hot outside, uh, so they fog up with this, with this AC. So you can see it down there. So a nice view, wonderful place. Great camp. It's always a real pleasure to do these camps. Uh, in, in my life personally, and Carlos as well, there's not much else we would rather be doing as, except sharing the game with the, these wonderful young men and women. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll, I'll finish film, filming some segments. Uh, thanks for watching. Give these kids a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll start our U.S. Open podcast shortly. We'll be giving away $700 cash and a lot of prizes. All you have to do is subscribe and everything else is free. Uh, so let's go back and check out on these kids. But anyway, uh, it's really a passion of ours here at 5K uh, to, to share the game with others. And there's not much else we would rather do. Um, so we're blessed to do it here. All right, let's go check them out. So we've drilled really hard all week. So what we're going to let these kids do is all split up on the four courts. And we're going to play some points in a doubles format with goals. So we'll have, you know, hey, control the ball back and forth four times before the point starts. Or the ball will start with an overhead. Uh, different, different. Um, ideas or different goals for for every point so maybe we'll go the first one everyone has to hit the ball twice before the point starts um, but the weather's been really good this week so we're very lucky about that I do see some clouds forming overhead but we've had really good weather this week the week before actually the month before it rained a ton so we're gonna let these kids have fun today uh, we've drilled really 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 tough in the heat uh, and they want to play so we're gonna let them play we'll see how this goes so the kids just asked Carla and I, how do we have the energy to do this all day, every day? Again, it's passion. We love it. Um, we've, we've done it for so long and, and had played the game our whole life, and we, we totally enjoy it. So we're pumped up when we get out of bed uh, to come. So that's how we do it. Just sheer love of the game. So we just ran doubles, uh, doubles drills. I couldn't film it because I was feeding. And now to kind of culminate the week, we're going to play kind of our version of king or king, king and queen of the court. So this team over here is the champions team. So Blakely and uh, one of my daughters, Gabriella, is over here. Carla feeds the ball in. And the teams over there, um, they come in and out. If they win both points, then they come over here. And then the champion side goes over there. And the goal is to get through the whole line. If this team can go through the whole line, then they get a year of being um, the, the tyrant in power. So if they go through every team, they get a year. So if they go through it again, then they get another year and so forth. So the first team that can go through the whole line three times, in other words, reign in power for three years, will win. So 
they did pretty well there. They just got through, I think, you know, five of the teams or so, but uh, they lost to the sixth one, so that, that team comes over, and they are going to try to get through it. All right, let's go. Carla's Lady of Steel. I tell you what, I do love her shoes. Those Jordan slash Serena uh, ones. So those are kind of a rare shoe, kind of very rare. So nice, nice shoes on a very pretty girl. Good job. Pick it up. Let's go, Isabella. Oh, a little out. Okay, so the next team will come in. They did not win both points, so the next team will come in. Make them run. Come on, Ethan, get closer than that. Uh oh. We All right, next going to Ella. Yeah, we scoop that volley. Keep the racket head up, handle down, and go to the ball. Block it. Here we go. Let's go, Ella. Oh, we scoop that long. Relax the elbow. Let's go. Such a beautiful day out. We're getting close to the end. Uh, it's been a really, really, really great week. I uh, love these kids a lot. Uh, and parents out there will definitely put a, uh, another one together soon. I know everybody's going back to school, but let us know in comments or contact us personally and we'll come up with um, a during school type camp, uh, whether it's a weekend type thing or maybe every weekend or every other weekend throughout a specific month. But uh, we'll get one going for sure. These kids have done really, 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 really well. Take care, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you very, very soon with our podcasts uh, for the U.S. Open. Again, we're giving away $700 cash and prizes from sponsors uh, and ourselves, sponsors being Ytech Strings and Diadem Sports. Uh, much love to all of you. Take care, and we will see you very soon. Uh, you know I like to post things often, so uh, we'll, you'll see us. I can assure you that. All right? Take care. Let's go. Next. Move over. Ethan. Nope. You didn't move. You didn't touch the ball. He's going to you. Yep. Yep. Your side. Good point. Okay. Peace out. Peace out, guys. Much love. And this team just got a year, so they went through the whole line. So right now they would be in the lead 1-0. Back up. Yeah, because you got to get the shot. So they got a year. They got one year.